Hello Floss Tube friends, I'm Beth and this is my YouTube channel Red Cross Stitcher. Welcome! You can also find me on Instagram as Red Cross Stitcher also. So I hope that you like what you're going to see, the content I provide, and if you do, I would like for you to please subscribe to my channel, like my video, and comment so we can get to know each other. I would appreciate that very much. I just want to say thank you. Thank each of you from the bottom of my heart for welcoming me to this community. I already love you all. And being now on this side of the camera, it's I'm getting a different experience as well. And you all have just embraced me, welcomed me, shouted me out on Instagram and your floss tubes. Just the support and the love. I appreciate that. You all, um, just phenomenal. It just touches me so. What a great community that we have. So thank you so much for being so kind and gracious to me. I do appreciate that. I was remiss in my first video and I didn't even thank my biggest supporter, my number one fan, my husband Alan. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this channel. He has encouraged me. He has given me the support and the confidence to, to do this and I appreciate that. And I had, you know, did 73 takes my first video. so. I forgot what I was saying and it was a mess, but I did not get that in that first video and I wanted to rectify that because he is my rock here on earth and I'm so thankful to the good Lord that he gave him to me. So Alan, thank you so much. I love you. Thanks. So I wanted to give a big shout out. I do have a few notes, so if you see me look down, I want to make sure that I um, thank those who have shouted me out and I'm if I have missed someone I am so sorry um, I want to say thank you to Christy from Daisy K Primitives she shouted me out on her Instagram channel thank you I appreciate you and your content I, I you all are every one of you are an inspiration to me Shelly Fry girl oh my gosh I love you uh, Shelly shouted me out on her Instagram and on her floss tube, um, her and uh, Liz, Antique Needle Workers. Shelly, thank you. I appreciate that. Liz, we missed you on your last, on the last video as well. But thank you so much. Just so kind and gracious. Stacy, 911 Stitcher, I love you, friend. Um, so helpful, supportive. Um, a, gives me advice when I need it. Just I appreciate you all. Thank you. And I have Natasha from Bridges Get Stitches shouted me out on her floss tube as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I have heard from several floss tubers um, congratulating me, thanking me, and telling me they're going to shout me out. Um, I appreciate all of you. Thank you again. My heart is just overflowing with joy and graciousness. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, sit back, kick your shoes off if your feet don't stink, and even if they do, we don't have smell-o-vision, just get comfortable. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, I, I just thankful that you're here today. I know time is such a precious commodity, and I appreciate you spending that time with me. If you have watched my first video and you're back for the second, thank you. If you're brand new, thank you as well. I do appreciate it so much. So I'll go ahead and give a little bit of a life update. Last, uh, or last video, watch me. I've only got one. My first video, I talked about my son Taylor and Eileen. I call him Tay. You may hear me refer to him as that. They're expecting their first child. This will be our, our seventh grandchild. And we had the gender reveal party um, two weeks ago, I guess, from today. We found out we are getting a brand new grandson. We are so excited, over the moon. Cannot wait to meet this little love. 
hopefully will be arriving uh, middle to late February. Uh, so again, very excited. Our family tree continues to grow. The Lord's blessed us and we are just so, so thankful. Can't wait to hold that little one in our arms because there's just something about a baby. That new life just is, um, just changes things. Not only a lot for them, but it's just great to have that, uh, that new life come in and smell those baby smells. And I know Missy Timberlake from uh, run, um, Two Needles Pulling Thread just had her um, first grandbaby. Congratulations, Missy, on that. So exciting. There's nothing like grandchildren. I know they're wonderful. So that's we're going to be getting a new grandson. Uh, I wanted to wait to see what we were getting before I started the quilt. So can't wait to start his quilt and get that going also. So, you know, first of all, I told you all in the first video, I like to stitch on Ada, Linen, Lagana, Jovelin. I am an equal opportunity stitcher. I, I, I like it all. Black is harder for me to see uh, than um, other colors of, of regardless of whether it's linen or Ada, uh, but I'll still, I will still stitch on it. But I love it all. I love several designers. I know you will see repeats of some of the same designers. Uh, Teresa Kogut, Brenda Gervais, Paulette from Plum Street Samplers, Blackbird. I, but I love samplers as well as um, the smalls. So you'll see a variety of that in, the, in my channel. My channel is primarily about cross stitch, but I love anything needle and thread. So you're going to get to see quilting, sewing, uh, crochet, knitting, whatever I've got going on I'm gonna share with you. I will segment it out. So if you are only here for the cross stitch piece, I will do that first and then you can move on to another floss tuber if you don't want to stay for the rest of it. But uh, I, I do appreciate you staying and I hope that I inspire you. I hope there is something here that you enjoy seeing and it may even be comforting just to watch um, because like I'd said before, I don't stitch mirabilias, but I do enjoy looking at those um, people who do because that, that takes a lot, or for any full coverage piece, it takes a lot of work and I appreciate that. So I hope there is something to um, inspire you again or just eye candy. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'll do a prior finish first and then we'll move into my sips or fully finishes because I do have some, some finished and my sips, which I call is my creativity and progress. So we'll start with the um, prior finish. My last name is Honeycutt. And as far as I know, my husband's lineage does not have anything to do with beekeeping, but in my head, it does. Um, I do love bees, anything bees. So when I saw Blackbird Designs, Humming of the Bees, I knew I wanted to stitch that. So just as a reminder, I've only been stitching um, since about 20, the end of 2019. So I haven't been stitching very long, so I'm trying to get caught up with uh, some of the patterns. I know you all, this is a fairly new one, but I know there are um, some that I'm doing that have already been done just because of, of I haven't been stitching as long. I've been sewing, um, quilting longer than uh, than I've been doing any cross stitch. So we'll go ahead and get started with this one. This is Blackbird Designs, Humming of the Bees. I made a few modifications on this one. The border, around the border, I didn't add the portions at the top uh, and the bottom. Well, and the one side as well. I didn't add some of those, I, I guess they're leaves. It kind of looked like an arrow to me and I, did, I didn't add that. I also personalized this. I stitched this in memory and in honor of my in-laws, JC and Lucille Honeycutt. So I personalized it with their names down here. So instead of the band uh, of stitching down at the bottom, I personalized that. So. This 
is my finish. I, uh, again, my father-in-law's name is was JC, and my mother-in-law's name was, was Scotia Lucille, and her maiden name was Davis. And I put the year they were married up top. They were married in 1948 in December. So, that is my prior finish. I love that. I love this one. I, I think this one is, is very, very pretty. So, I have a few finishes. I also did um, two new starts and one fully finished, one finished. And then I, um, I think I told you I, I was doing the um, Country country Cottage Needleworks uh, monthly cottages, and I'm caught up now through September. So, um, I keep that as a sip because I still have October, November, and December to do. So, we'll start with the one I showed you last, or I keep saying that like I've got a bunch. My first video, Teresa Kogut, Dear Santa. I do not have the chart. I just printed the chart, so I don't have the... Um, the cover page. I did this on a 16 count hand dyed Ada and I used one strand of floss on this. I did um, oh excuse me a little ruching with a ribbon um, as a finish on it. I filled this with poly fill. So that is my finish. Now I, um, the only change that I made, I did not do um, the scissors and the needle on this, but I, I think this is pretty. This is what the back looks like. So um, I used the called for DMC on this. This is a Lizzie Kate Tiny Tidings and uh, the most wonderful time of the year. I had showed that in the first video and I just made just a simple pillow with a That's what I used on the back. This has polyfill as well. And my third fully finish is a brand new, was a brand new start. This is February 14th by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And as I, I'm going to make better notes uh, at going forward, a lot of this I had either already had started and wasn't sure of what I was stitching on. If I do know it, I'll let you know. This was stitched on a 28 count white Lugana. I used the called for DMC on that. I did stitch two threads over two. I did um, a little pink ribbon ruching to finish it. It is finished with polyfill as well. Sometimes I use the lizard litter, um, but I like this one. And this is what I put on the back. So. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get a jump start on Valentine's Day. Just because I haven't been stitching very long, I don't have um, a lot of pieces. Uh, so, for
for especially seasonal. So I wanted to go ahead and get a uh, jump start on Valentine's Day. So I did that. And that is all my fully finished. So I do have um, uh, several pieces that I finished and I've got one still in progress. So I, on the tiny tidings as well, the Lizzie Kate one, this one, I had showed you that I had started this one. I had stitched part of, I'd stitched the O, stitched part of the J and realized I had messed up. So I did pull that out because it was supposed to be three, three, three uh, lines after the top and I had messed up on like the second one down with the pink and only did two lines. So I pulled that out, redid that. So this one will be ready to finish. So that one, I, I'm gonna make a, a small ornament out of as well. So here is another start and finish. And this again is the Country Cottage Needleworks um, Cottages of the Month. And this one is September. I used the called for, oh, on the Lizzie Kate, I used the called for DMC. I didn't do, um, um, no, I don't think I did the fancy floss. I'll, I don't believe I did. But on this one, I know I only did, um, I used the called for DMCs on. And this one, I have a frame that I uh, just change out the month in it. So I finish it on a um, mat board, a piece of mat board. So that way I can just interchange that. So I am, because I had done this yesterday, my intent was to have it done last night. We had to keep um, two or three. We had the boys, the grand, three of the grand uh, sons last night because my son had a um, uh, surgery on uh, yesterday. So I wanted to, um, I, we had them, so I didn't end up getting to finish it. So good thing, because I had the video again. So that is September. So now I, I just have the three months left. And listen, you all, I don't know about you, but I had everything in order on my first video if you go back and watch that, I had had it all stacked up, ready to go. And when I came to the next to the last one, I knew I put it on my design board and I couldn't find the last one. I was like, oh my gosh. And I was looking around. I don't know if you all did this or do this. I had to pick that thing up with my toes or as I and my family, we call tingers, they're toe fingers. You can just grab that, pull that puppy right on up. Got it up here, so <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but that's real life. That's how I had to do it. I think I have everything this time. Okay, the next one, Plum Street Samplers, the Milk and Cream Company. I love this. Uh, any animal that has quilt blocks <laughs> on it, I'm going to be all about that. I love it. So I did the conversion that Lori Holt did. Her fabric as well as the floss. I used the same exact conversion for. And I, you know, I didn't really think I had a whole lot left. That heifer is no joke. You know, as I started stitching it, I'm like, I only have half of that left to go. And the other piece uh, on the side, you all, oh my gosh, that seemed to take forever. But I love this piece. 
Now, the change that I did to this, let me get the chart back, is it's filled in where the Milk and Cream Company is with white floss. I didn't want to do that. So, I left mine not filled in, just blank. But I love this. I think, not positive, but I do think I'm going to do this as a, um, maybe as a flat fold and um, finish it that way. But not sure. We'll, um, I'll see later. But I think that's what, what I'll do. Okay. So, my last sip that I worked on was Kringle and Woolard. And I should have a finish on this one. This is by Plum Street Samplers. Kringle and Woolard. Again, this the little sheet has quilt blocks. You, you can't see it as well. There's just a little, or it looks like to me quilt blocks. Maybe it's just, that's what I'm seeing. But Kringle and Woolard. I am using a 36 count. I am not sure if it is, it called for Stars Hollow Blend. So I'm not sure if that was what I used or not. I did use one strand of floss over um, two threads. And this is where I am. I'm almost done with his staff. I have the bottom of his coat to fill in and his beard. And then I will work on the border. So he's three fourths of the way, of the way done. I should have did this at the beginning. Um, and I didn't, I didn't have it down in my notes. I had a few questions on my design wall. You can't, you can't see it right now very well, but you can see the very top. I had originally, when I did my first design wall, I had made one. I used the thick insulation foam you can buy at Lowe's or um, Home Depot. This one, I followed the tutorial for um, Erica Arndt. Confessions of a Homeschooler. I used the poster board um, that students use if they're doing a science fair project, the trifold. So I took two of those, used um, probably duct tape on the seams, used 100% cotton batting, and wrapped that around. And it's, it's really the same concept it is uh, as a design board uh, and I used binding. So for mine, I did two and uh, butted them directly up together so they were individually bound like you would a quilt. Um, I had stitched the, the center seam of the to make the binding and I uh, believe I hot glued mine. I don't think I um, Eileen used Eileen's glue. Uh, I believe it was hot glue. And that's how I made my design wall. Someone had asked me. Someone also asked, would I uh, do a tutorial on how to make a bag? And I would be more than happy to do that. My husband may have to to video that. And you will see I do several different styles. I love the patchwork because I love quilting. I do a lot of patchwork. But in my patchwork, I may do the zipper the way it is here. Sometimes I do the zipper on the top. This is bound like you would a quilt. I do typically quilt mine. I enjoy doing that. Um, sometimes I'll use jelly roll strips, which are two and a half inch strips. Sometimes I just use fabric if I uh, like a piece of fabric. So you'll see that, but I'd be more than happy to show you how I do that. Uh, wouldn't have a problem. 
and then someone asked me how I dyed my fabric. So what I did is I used the writ dye and I did one cup of hot water, I heated it in the microwave, added, I guess maybe a tablespoon of salt, dissolved that, and I added how much liquid I needed it to be. So I had paper towels that I folded. I started, if I wanted it really dark, I might do a cap full. If I didn't want it as dark, I would just drop in a few drops and keep dropping a few drops on the paper towel to see if it was a color I liked. On the one that I finished for Teresa Koga at Dear Santa, I, um, I want to say this one was the tan writ dye, and I dyed, it, this was white, a white Ada, dyed it in the writ dye with the tan, and I use a roaster pan, a aluminum foil roaster pan, and I wet the fabric, kind of scrunch it up down in there, and I took a spoon and poured the dye over it, then rinsed it. But on this one, I took a little bit of the pearl gray after I had dyed it and just touched it a little bit with the pearl gray to give it um, a little different color. And then I baked it on 200, maybe 35, 40 minutes. And then I hung it over a drying rack or whatever I hung it on. It may have even been a quilt rack to dry it uh, overnight. And then it was set. So I didn't have any, any problem, but that's how I do my uh, dyeing. So that was what I have finished, uh, fully finished what I finished and what I started. So let's see, sampler September. I have got four pieces or four different ones I'm going to show you. I had wanted to start one last night, but again, I had three of the grandsons, so I ended up not, um, not doing it. So let me show you when, we, when I come back, my rotation on the channel is I'm trying to do every two weeks. So when I come back, you'll see which one I chose. But let me go through four that I have and then we'll see which one I end up choosing. Okay, this is a bag that I did, oh goodness, uh, taller than wide. This is a core Yoder fabric. And this was a little pull, I know it doesn't match, but I loved it. I got it from um, a retreat that I was at in February. Added some rickrack to the top. So, I know a lot of you have already stitched this one, or are in the process of stitching. Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. Love this. I am doing the color conversion from Lori Holt. Uh, I, I copy her. Her um, work is phenomenal as well. So I loved how the colors that she changed. Uh, I believe she changed the reds and the greens in, in this. Okay, I am doing this on Seraphim. So here's the, the floss. And I am doing this. On seraphim fabric. I think that's going to be very pretty. Okay, so that's option one. Okay, option two. Here's the this is Lori Holt fabric. And again, I know, I think somebody 
is stitching this one right now. It may be Mrs. Smith stitches, but the Scarlet House Smith sampler. And if I'm not mistaken, I want to say she wasn't thrilled with the, I think she was doing the DMC. This calls for um, Gloriana, Dinky Dice, and some Belle Soir. But I chose the DMC. So I'm not sure. I'm going to need to, to relook at that and see and this is a 36 count seraphim antique lace and, and i can't remember which color she wasn't happy with so I'm, I'm i might need to go back and see that what she changed hers to we don't have a real local needle workshop but i will tell you um i'll get into that later but we are going to visit one that's it'll be a day trip for us so i have to order or wait till i go to the beach um or we have the the one i told you about last time stitch point in greensboro which is going to be another day day trip for us uh this is another bag and this is what i'm talking about how i just change it up it's a patchwork piece, but I added borders all on the sides, and my zipper is on the top. Now, this is not a Christmas sampler. I need to, I should be better about that, putting a Christmas seasonal with the, the bag that I've done. Okay, this is Barbara Anna Designs. Snooty Parrots. For whatever reason, I want to say Snooty Parents every time. I am doing, or I'm choosing, the DMCs. And I am not sure, you all, what this is one of the mystery linens that I have. I'm not sure what that is. But that's option three. And one more. Regina. I am not sure if if it's Hybel. Hable. Ah, so pretty by Brenda Gervais. Love this. So I have it kitted with the DMCs. It's really pretty. And I don't know. Uh, 40 count lamb's wool. Did have that. showing where there we go maybe so those are my four options one of the four I'll start for sampler, sampler September so excited about that okay that is all of the cross stitch updates so I'm gonna get into what I've purchased, what Alan, love him, what he has, his charitable contributions uh, from his retirement fund is what I like to say. I'm spending his, his retirement fund. So I'll get into the things that I purchased, then we'll move into the other segments. So I'll start with the cross stitch now. I, I said in the first video, I like to keep my DMC on floss drops. Now, my floss drops can be those little Christmas tag Santas, uh, cardboard gift tags, whatever I can get my hands on. They don't match. 
but I do like them. And I store my DMC by color on the bigger rings. I like to have a full set of DMC so I can actually lay the entire floss across a piece of, of linen or Ada, my fabric, to see if it's something that I want to interchange if I'm not using the call for. So I had to replenish uh, my stash. So I probably bought 200 skeins and have that. I've got to get them on floss straps. My extra DMC. So I like to have one on a floss strap and to keep and if I'm in dire need I will use that that's why I'm replenishing some of them but then as I get new charts I if I am using or pulling from DMC I, I don't like to necessarily pull the one off the floss drop I'll create a new floss drop and then add to it that way my extras I store in like Ziploc bags and I label them zero to you know, 99, 100 to 199, and that's how I store. So if I have to go in and pull it, I do keep track of it on my phone on the app, so I know if I have one or if I need to replenish. So here is what I have purchased, and I've already got these three kitted up. This is Plum Street Samplers, Paulette's uh, Black Black Fairy House, yeah. And I think several, Elizabeth Ann can stitch, I believe, is stitching this. The New Hampshire stitcher, I want to say she's already finished it, but I can't remember. But this is gorgeous. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So I kitted this with a 47, 47, 40 count lakeside porcelain. And with, I love stitching with DMC. Uh, unless there's a specific color that I want, I'll do over dyes, but I, I love DMC. And I'm, be the floss on that. So I think that will be very pretty. So this is, um, one and I I may have told you I can't remember um, if I said most of my charts because I don't have near as many um, since I haven't been doing it as long but when I get one I like to go ahead and try to get it kitted ready to go so I have them I don't keep a needle uh, or scissors in the bag but I do like to have the chart, the floss, and the, the fabric. And I don't even have enough bags now. Uh, and if I just did bags, I, which I love to make, um, I would never get anything else done. So <laughs> I'm resorting to also leaving them in the, the package it came in. So the Scarlet House Patriotic Shaker box set. so cute. So I went ahead and kitted this one. Sorry for any noise. On a 28 count white Lugana with uh, the called for colors. So that is ready to go. And then one more cross stitch piece I bought at Barefoot Needle Art and Surfside, which is Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. And this is the Big Hearted. Love it. And I have this. Probably in mystery linen. And I am using, looks like called for. So. So, that one. 
is ready. So that's all the cross stitch charts and things I got. I had just these were just the charts I had purchased the or already maybe had the floss in the fabric. So that I don't know if it's just my Hobby Lobby or if this is all over but I was in there sorry I have to try to move all this so I, I don't have I have some space but I happened to be in Hobby Lobby and noticed they were having a clearance on some of the frames and it was in the regular section these weren't in the clearance um, aisle but I got this is the four by four two dollars and 99 cents I got three of these because I thought these would be cute for um, any smalls I do have a few um, you know even some of those tiny tinies might look cute in there um, I have Lori Holt vintage Christmas cross stitch and I've already cross stitched several of them but I also like having them as ornaments or thinking man I can put them in one of these frames. This one's a four by four. It's a wooden, um, and how much were they? These were $1.99. Look at that. So I got three of these. And then I got a, I don't know if this is barn wood, what? It's like a gray brown. They only had the one in that. And got that. So, like I said, I'll just st I'll keep these until I find. I don't have necessarily anything in mind for them. Uh, this is an eight-inch square for four dollars and twenty-four cents. It's a blue, like a royal blue color. I got that one and th that same gray brown eight-inch. This one was three forty-nine. So, it's just got the holder on the back. And then they had two five by sevens. Again, I bought it just because they were, this one was $3.99. And this one was $4.99. My little brown. So I got those. Thought I would have it in my stash, somebody on one of the floss tubes talked about the uh, if you see a square frame specifically buy it so I did I bought it and the only other thing I spent money on was I bought six yards of shine on Bonnie and Camille La they were my favorite designers Bonnie the mother a mother-daughter duo from Moda. Bonnie has retired, so I in anything I can get from Bonnie and Camille, I I love love their fabrics. So Camille is still um, she is still a designer for Moda. She goes under um, Thimble Blossoms, and I bought her newest Fat Quarter bundle, Lighthearted. I love these colors. It's so pretty. So I got that. And that's all. That's all Alan's charitable contributions. <laughs> so thank you, Alan. So if you are just here for the cross stitch, that ends the cross stitch portion of the show. So now I'm going to move into the quilting and the sewing. And I finished Fat Quarter Shot did a sew along or quilt along uh, called Evergreen Mystery. It, by the time that I had was doing it, it had already came out and then it's finished. But you can go, it's a free quilt along. So go, I encourage you to go to their website and, and get it. So I have it quilted and bound.
Hopefully, I can't see what you're seeing now. Hopefully, you can see all of that. This was, this is just going to make such a cute wall hanging. I um, backed it with just um, a red and green dot. binding that I used and just did um, just some loops and swirls quilting. I quilt my things on my um, I have a Bernina 770 uh, sewing machine and I quilt on that and I've also quilted on my Foth uh, Quilt Expressions 4.2 so I quilted that. So that was my finish. I do have my quilt top finished, not fully finished, and that is out of this book, Summer Memories by Susan Aki, and the quilt is Summer Picnic. I used a variety of Minikin Simpson, mainly Minikin Simpson fabrics, as well as Brenda Riddle. I think, it, yeah, Sweet Liberty, maybe, is the name of that. But a lot, there was just some stuff out of my stash also. But um, I love that soft palette of the red, white, and blue. So I enjoyed that. You'll see a lot of red, white, and blue. I love patriotic quilting. Absolutely love it. So that has got to now get uh, sandwiched and quilted, which I intend to do uh, on my Bernina. So that will be the next thing. I have been inspired and enabled by you all. I took a knitting class a couple of weeks back. And we didn't have a project. I have I had two classes. I've done one already, a two-hour class, and I have to schedule my other one. Um, I have it in. I'm storing it in this little bag I made. I like to even quilt my bags and even my project bags. It's just got a little pocket on it. But we didn't have a project. Just had a swatch that we had to make, and I haven't even woven my ends. So I made my swatch. You all, I am so proud of this. <laughs> I am like, wow, so stretchy. And um, the garter stitch I know, I learned. So I learned how to knit and purl and cast on and off. So very proud of that. And my crochet, I am using, I think it's Yarn B, uh, yarn, and Patriotic. Again, as I'm going, I, will, I like to weave all my ends in at the very end. And Patriotic as well, red, white, and blue. This is just a simple, just a little simple stitch, double crochet in a single and the same that makes up that stitch. So I love that. So I will work on that. One thing I like doing with the crochet and as I begin the knitting too, it's it's comforting. You're sitting there as and if especially if it's chilly, you're getting warmed as you're working. Okay. The other thing that I have on Miss Ada here is this is McCall's 7430. I am doing, or I'm doing, I did view A here. This is a stretch knit pattern. I used a sweater leopard print and a black ponte for this and um, just has a cow, um, cow neck. It is sleeveless, let me pull her here. It's sleeveless. And, um, but 
I love it. I love this one. I think that's a that's a very pretty easy. It didn't say, I don't think this said easy, but this was I have my contacts on so it's not like I can see as well. But I I believe if I remember correctly it said easy somewhere but it was not hard to construct at all so that was um, my sewing any garment sewing my plans for sewing I bought I should have brought it in here and didn't um, some cotton lycra fabric uh, Christmas fabric to make uh, my grandchildren Christmas pajamas so I've got to get started on that. Uh, that will be my garment sewing. This is going to be not my very next. I've already got another wall hanging in progress. You'll see on my Instagram, hopefully later next week. But this is what we're going to start. Rachel, Denise, and I are going to do St. Nick Lella Boutiques. I haven't completely decided on my fabric if I'm going to use um, Bonnie and Camille fabric, Christmas fabric, Merry, uh, Merry Little Christmas, or I can't remember the name, or a Stacy Itsu um, Christmas fabric. But I did buy the gray. I did buy the cheek uh, face and, not cheek color, the face and nose, I believe I bought. So again that is so cute oh I love it so that's what I'm going to do quilting and I'll finish still uh, my crochet blanket I'll still work on that and oh so a couple of things I said that we're t doing a road trip so four of us from our local stitching group are headed to Irmo I believe South Carolina to the Stitchin Kitten. It's a brand new um, local needlework shop. So we are headed there. And I showed you Charlotte Frost from the Scarlet House that I want to start. And I wasn't real pleased with my DMC um, conversion. Well, it was the DMC conversion that they had had, but I wasn't real thrilled with the red. It, I, I'm almost positive that was calling for dinky dyes, but this place sells dinky dyes. So um, even if it's not, I, I'm still going to have to change out that red. So we're going there next Tuesday. That'll be a day trip. I registered for StitchCon Weekend A. So I let me know if you all have registered. I know we won't know for uh, another month or so if we got in. Um, but several of us from the stitching group registered, so excited about that. And I am going to Barefoot Needle Art in, um, they are in Surfside, South Carolina, but the retreat is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's the October 6th, 7th, and 8th, 8th, if I'm not mistaken. I am going to attend that cross-stitch retreat as well. So looking forward to that, and I'm just checking my notes to make sure I, I looks like everything I've talked about already. Uh, so looking forward to all of that. Just as a reminder, uh, I am in, uh, in the Red Cross, North Carolina area. So we do have a stitching group that meets in Locust, North Carolina. So if you are local or within driving distance and you want to join us, we meet every Thursday from 10 to 12 at the Locust Library here in North Carolina. And we meet the first and the third Monday evening at the Locust Starbucks from six to eight. We are actually meeting on Labor Day evening. So if you are in the area and you wanna join us, we would love to have you. We have a great group uh, that gets together. So we'd love for you to be a part of that if you want to, uh, find a friend uh, to stitch with. We, we can be your stitching friends. So we, we would love to have you. So again, thank you for spending your time with me today. And I, I failed to mention today is Saturday, September the 2nd, 2023. So if you did like what you saw, 
Would you please subscribe to my channel, like my video, and leave me a comment? I so appreciate it. Thank you for being with me, and hopefully I will see you again in two more weeks. Thank you all. Talk to you later. Bye.